Greetings guys, Sai si here and welcome to episode 22 on Project Left. So for those guys that are new here, I am Simon Byfield, I'm a PGA golf professional. I turn professional right-handed and I'm going on a three-year quest to see how good I can get playing left-handed. Now I am 10 weeks in currently, so this is episode 22, 10 weeks in, and I've got something I'm very, very proud of and I want to share it with you today. Oh, before we get started, hang on. Ryder Cup Blue, come on Europe. That was so good. Anyway, moving on. Right, we're gonna have a look today at my pitching. And now, even though I've only been playing golf left-handed 10 weeks, I am really, really proud of my pitching. It has come on leaps and bounds. And it's actually one of the strongest parts of my game, pushing right-handed golf. Now, if you stay to the end of this video, I'll let you know all about the challenge that hopefully is gonna be happening in a few weeks' time. But first of all, let's get into this screen recording and let's have a look at my pitching. Okay, so here we go. We're just pitching here into the 18th green. I've got 55 yards into the green. And if we just look at setup, first of all, I'm pretty square to the target. I've worked quite a lot. Uh, I've looked at a lot of videos recently, especially when we played that round at the Stone Market. And I definitely have a tendency to aim too far right. So that's something that I'm conscious of. Now, if we take the club away, one of the things that I'm really proud about is when we get to kind of this first parallel position here, it's quite blurry on this video, so it's not absolutely perfect, but you can see that club is still turned down towards the ground. It's matching my forearm, it's matching my spine, it's matching my shoulder tilt. It's looking like it's in a good position. I get it to the top, and again, there isn't a great deal of face rotation. Once the swing gets much higher than this, certainly with my driving and my longer irons, I start to feel that twist in the club face and I struggle to get it back. Fairly strong wrist angles there, that right wrist angle is looking nice and flat. And one of the things that's definitely better about this swing than my right handed swing is my transition. I had a massive down cock on my transition, a massive amount of lag for the want of a much better word. And I got very narrow and I had to get very handsy through the ball. And that is something that I'm determined not to get into left handed, I'm not going to get into any bad habits. So coming down here, and basically we've just seen, hopefully, a turn of the body, the arms coming down and through, and a very passive, passive hit. Now obviously you can see it's a massive toe strike. Strike is still of great difficulty to me, hence why distance control isn't as good as it could be. But you can see that ball is going along towards the target, and I'm turning through. And again, again it's quite blurry, but you can see that club is pointing still up towards the sky, it hasn't been twisted down to the ground, turning through. And one of the things that I like is that my club hasn't gone flying past my hands. My hands and club head are traveling a similar distance. So if we just fold this on, we've then got a side angle of another shot in here. So let's just cycle that through until we get there. There we go, right, so side angle. And again, nice clean posture, hopefully not too many tilts and twists in there um, because this is a sandwich. And again, if we take the club away, trying to keep that forearm, that wrist angle nice and firm, not letting there get too much angle in here between the arms and the club, not letting the club get too far behind me. And you can see that wrist angle is around about 90 degrees at the top, and it definitely doesn't get any greater than that on the way down. That wrist angle, those angles are starting to disappear through the downswing, just holding on enough into impact, so my hands lead into impact slightly de-lofting the club and sending it on its way. But again, it's really from here, waist down, and through the ball that I'm really proud of. I don't flick my hands, I keep them nice and firm. That Y shape moving all together as my chest and hips and head and everything turns up towards the target. So I'm gonna take a second to have a look at head there. Now, I am looking down as I hit the ball, but there is certainly no intention of keeping my head down. Look, even four or five frames after impact, I'm turning up and through. Good lesson for everyone to learn there. And again, really clear from this side angle, you can see that the club hasn't gone flying past my hands. My hands and my club head are traveling on a very similar speed through the ball, which allows me to control that club face. Something that I'm really, really working on. So guys, very quick, quick video there, just a nice look at my pitching. It certainly is one of the best parts of my game left-handed. And certainly something that I'm gonna to continue to improve on. 
I obviously would like to get some new wedges. And when I get to 18 handicap, I am going to treat myself to the new set of clubs. Now, it's important for me not to buy or get new clubs too early, because as a beginner, that's not what would happen. But once you get to an 18 handicap, in my eyes, you're kind of committed, you know you're playing golf, you know you can get around the golf course in a half decent number, and that would be then the time to go and invest in some new clubs. Obviously, if you can, get custom fit clubs as soon as possible. It definitely helps your game. Definitely much better to have custom fit clubs all the time, but if you can't always afford it, then you wanna make sure you, you enjoy the game and that you're actually committed to it. So guys, that was a quick video of my pitching technique. Please comment below what you liked, what you didn't like about my pitching technique, what I can potentially improve on. Also, what you like about this style of video. Again, we're trying something new. I'm trying a different setup here with the lighting and the lights in the background, hoping it all works. We won't know until I get into the edit. Little bonus thing for you. When I get to 18 handicap, I'm gonna play a match against myself. Left-handed versus right-handed. I'm gonna give my left-handed self 18 shots. I'm currently at 20.6 handicap, so that could be happening quite soon, or it could be a couple of months time. I'm really pushing to get to 18. That is the next, next target. <sighs> Hopefully it won't be too long. So guys, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Project Left. I'm Simon. If you'd hit the subscribe button, like button, share button, all of that lovely stuff, it really helps Adam and I out as creators. Helps us to keep making the content for you guys that we enjoy doing, and hopefully you enjoy watching. So, until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Well, we'll see. Hang on a second. Let's get... Uh, Get that one down. Um, let's get that, that one down. We'll just make a little bit of space for the new book. What's the original thing? Was he called? Got a little left-handed club up here. Thank you very much. That would have once upon a time had a really, really old steel shaft in it. I think it was probably post hickory, but yeah, good setup. It keeps on changing in here. Right, did it. All.